Aptera just announced that its new NACS connectors will be manufactured by none other than Lectron. Let's get into the details. Hi, this is Echo Electric, where we talk about all things concerning EVs. Remember to like the video. If you're enjoying our content, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay connected. Before we get into the video, I'd like to pass on a special message regarding one of our core team members here at Echo Electric. Lewin is a founding writer and editor here at Echo Electric. He is a sickler and has lost two siblings to this disease. Lewin has battled the dreaded sickle cell disease all his life, and his health keeps deteriorating as the days go by. Despite the severe, debilitating pain episodes, frequent hospitalization, and bed rest recommendations, Lewin still puts up with creating the unique content we put out here. Lewin is indeed a fighter, and the best we can do for him as a team is to help him stay healthy. Lewin's health can be completely restored with a bone marrow transplant and a bilateral hip replacement. So we call on all our audience and fans to donate and see that he gets these surgeries. We'll really wish that he stays healthy. We hope you'll want that too. Please check out his GoFundMe campaign in the description below. Solar Electric Vehicle, maker Aptera Motors, has announced it will integrate the newly opened North American Charging Standard, or NACS, formerly the Tesla Connector, into its ultra-efficient vehicles. The NACS charging inlet and EV charging equipment will be built by Lectron, an industry leader dedicated to the widespread adoption of sustainable transportation. The official announcement follows Tesla's decision to open its proprietary charging connector with the intention to not only make it available to other companies, but maybe even to replace the J1772 connector. Aptera Motors' move is not a surprise, as the company was already preparing to use Tesla's charging solution for quite some time and immediately supported the opening of the charging specs on November 11. In July, Aptera Motors also promoted the idea to replace the J1772 combo with Tesla's charging connector on the U.S. government level and basically make it a new standard for electric cars in the country. The company has argued that Tesla's solution is less costly, smaller, lighter, easier to use, and allows for ultra-fast charging. On November 11, 2022, Tesla announced that it would allow other EV manufacturers to use its connector, officially renaming it the North American Charging Standard. The move was celebrated by Aptera Motors, which sees the NACS as less bulky and more powerful than its J1772 counterpart. Over 40,000 people signed the company's petition to make Tesla superchargers and plugs the U.S. standard. We're thrilled about this news and applaud Tesla for allowing and encouraging the EV industry to utilize its superior technology, said Chris Anthony, co-CEO of Aptera Motors. We believe Tesla's decision is an essential step toward shifting the future of transportation to a more efficient and greener direction and we look forward to adopting its connector in our SEVs. One of the most interesting bits of news in the whole story is that the NACS charging inlet and EV charging equipment for Aptera EVs will be built by Lectron, a well-known supplier of EV Southeast and various charging adapters for both Tesla and J1772 connectors. If Lectron has a complete solution for the NACS, then other EV manufacturers also can consider such a switch from CCS. Lectron is at the forefront of manufacturing chargers and adapters for both Tesla and J1772 EVs, which makes them the top choice for building the NACS charging inlet and EV Southeast for Aptera's fleet of SEVs. We're excited about the news of Tesla opening up its NACS to the transportation industry. We believe the growing EV charging market needs innovations like this, which greatly benefit equipment builders and end customers, said Christopher Maywald, founder and CEO of Lectron. We also believe in fast and efficient charging, and that sustainability is the future of transportation. That's why we're excited to team up with such an innovative company as Aptera Motors. With their fleet of solar EVs, they are reimagining what an EV can be in terms of style and efficiency continued Maywald. By working with Lectron, Aptera is able to leverage Lectron's EV charging innovations and expertise to deliver a premium charging experience to their customers. 
We hope our collaboration accelerates the growing momentum behind the NACS. Here's to universal EV adoption and moving toward a better future together, said Anthony. The company said in the blog post that network operators already have plans in motion to incorporate NACS at their chargers. If network providers like ChargePoint, EV Connect, or Electrify America add NACS, it would allow Tesla owners to charge at these stations without a need for an adapter. If automakers switch to NACS on its EVs, it would give owners of those vehicles access to Tesla's North American supercharging and destination charging networks. Tesla provides a Tesla charger adapter cable with every car they sell that allows their cars to use charging stations that have a J1772 connector. This means that every electric vehicle sold in North America can use any charging station that comes with the standard J1772 connector. This indeed is big news for Aptera and other electric manufacturers as well. This NACS connector is now going to be an obvious choice for new electric vehicles in production. That's why Aptura was so glad when the news came out that Tesla would open up its connector platform to other EV manufacturers. That is why in an email to reservation holders and investors, Aptura thanked its community for helping push the petition and confirmed that it now plans to integrate Tesla's connector, now the North American charging standard. Aptura plans to begin manufacturing of its electric solar vehicle, which begins at $25,900 in the coming months. Deliveries are slated to begin next year, and the car is already in high demand. According to the company, it has over 37,000 reservations, each of which requires a $100 deposit. This has the potential to be a tremendous development. Aptura would have the greatest connector design, and it would be much easier to implement now that Tesla has revealed the technical specifications. As mentioned in our previous video, this move may, on the other hand, be excellent for Tesla. Despite the fact that most people believe it is the best, Tesla may have a less than altruistic reason to open its charging standard. While the US government does not force charging stations to use the CCS connection, those receiving money were required to use EVs from more than one car maker. For the time being, Tesla's supercharger stations are ineligible for incentives. However, if only one manufacturer adopts Tesla's connection or the North American charging standard, Tesla's supercharger network will be eligible for subsidies. After a vehicles with NACS infrastructure and access to Tesla superchargers, as well as the automaker's new charging stations, would be eligible for the incentives. Both Tesla and Aptera would benefit from the deal. We are really curious about which charging networks will start equipping their chargers with NACS because this move will be also crucial to tempt at least some startups. But what do you think about Aptera's move to adopt Tesla's connector to their SEV? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this coming in the future. And if you feel touched to contribute to Lewin's treatment, don't forget to check out the GoFundMe page in the description below. Thank you, and thanks for watching.